The second event boss battle has released. We have the rerun of Baruja. Now this boss can be pretty tricky to complete if you don't know what you're doing. The exact same reason I believe that makes the auto teams a little too inconsistent to finish effectively. I'm sure a variant Estorosa team or the Angels could auto this, but I think it would take a little too much time or maybe too much RNG. And the reason for that is because if you don't have two or more Venom stacks, then he is going to decrease the damage taken by 100%. And his first skill is an Oxidize, and his second skill is a Toxin. So the only way to actually get Venom is by attacking into his stance while you have Toxin stacks, at least two of them. Then they will transfer to Venom stacks. But that is a you know very complex way of dealing with this boss. Since we can do the traditional ult rush method that I'm sure everyone and their mother knows about. With green merlin and ult food you can use the one, move his skills once, and then drop both of them to get his ult for the second turn. And then we will also move Dairy's skill once to help prepare her ult for the second phase. So it looks like on the first turn he does give us two toxin stacks. So if we wait the second turn for him to stance and then attack into him then we will have the venom needed if we wanted to do this normally or if we had no idea what we were doing so second turn we're going to attack with her attack with dairy to get her attack buff and then we will ult with t1 you also need to move dairy skill so that you can get her ultimate here for phase two and then we're going to buff up with her to get her three stacks of buffs and then if you don't deal enough damage you can perfect cube to get the shield buff and that should be enough damage. She doesn't need to be level 100 since we've done this without that in the past. And that combination of skills is going to one-shot Baruja on phase two. And that is three turning him. If you guys liked it, drop a thummy, maybe a sub if you're into that, and I'll see you in the next one.